Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Wright and today we are going to be redesigning pet food labels. So a lot of times on this channel we go through foods and we pull out a lot of the marketing stuff that is set to manipulate you and can often be confusing and misleading. So today I thought I would go through the packages and I would redesign them how I think they should look if the pet food companies were actually telling the truth. We're going to take two foods that we've already done reviews on, and that's Taste of the Wild for Cat and Taste of the Wild for Dog, and I'm going to redesign the pet food labels the way I think they should look. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first one I have here is Taste of the Wild Cat. Um, it says it's a grain-free recipe, and um, I've got a picture of a panther, and he's going to eat a stag in the foreground here. Um, first thing that I want to say, um, or the first thing that I want to edit on this is going to be the... Uh, the I guess the connotation that in the wild um, your cat is a panther and it's going to take down this um, stag. Well, in reality, in the wild, and there are wild cats, we call them feral cats, um, they're going to be scavengers. They're not going to be hunting and taking down stags at all. And so this is a very, very, very beautiful package, but totally misleading. And so we're going to redesign this. Okay, so I think we're going to get rid of this whole thing. Um, I don't think there are probably any feral or wild cats um, hanging out in the um, waterfalls, right? Um, a lot of times these guys um, are going to be hanging out, like, uh, unfortunately, uh, maybe in the woods, um, and they're going to get their food either by eating... Uh, you know, scavenging, so things that have been, um, you know, already killed or, you know, garbage cans and things like that. So maybe we'll have like a dumpster, you know, something like this here. And we're going to have our little cat friend, um, you know, maybe this is a cat. I'll go back <laughs> when we're done. And put like it really so we're gonna have our cat here and they're gonna be going in the dumpster and maybe they're gonna be eating like you know some like old bag like McDonald's food or something like that that they found or somebody threw to them um, you know up here you know maybe they'll catch you know a bird which is really sad because we love we love our birds so you know maybe they can look up here and you know and see a little cardinal or something that they're gonna catch um, and then Let's see. Yeah, that's probably what, uh, you know, a wild cat actually today, a domestic wild cat's going to eat. So that's the taste of their wild. Um, the other thing we're going to do, let's see. Let's pull out some of the marketing stuff. So we're going to leave the name Taste of the Wild. So we're going to leave that. Um, down here we've got where it says a uh, grain-free recipe. And so we've talked about how grain-free is not anything we don't need that. That's totally marketing. Um, animals don't need grain-free. In fact, it could be quite deleterious even for cats. The big, the big research is in dogs, and it's ongoing. But there is some information that maybe it's it's no good for cats either. So we don't want um, you know this to be deceiving and, and for them to make it sound like it's a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and take out where it says grain-free recipe, and um, we're going to put we're going to substitute that. We're going to put in there um, grain deficient. Because, you know, when we take out the grains, that's, that's what we've got now. We've got a food that is actually deficient in something that is essential. So we're going to take that out. Um, okay, so we've got the Rocky Mountain feline recipe. It probably shouldn't be called Rocky Mountain. It should probably be, ca be called something like a back backyard recipe. Um, so we're going to call it backyard or maybe even dumpster, the dumpster recipe because that's what cats, you know, that aren't blessed with the good nutrition, the wild cats, and that's what they get. Um, and then down here it says feline recipe with roasted venison and smoked salmon flavor. Um, what that actually means when they use that term with 
roasted venison and smoke flavor that actually is a legal definition so they uh, you know in order to be um, honest at least to some extent there are laws on what pet food companies can put in the package and so that word with in order to use that it means it can only or it needs to only be actually three percent so what this should say instead of saying with roasted and venison and smoked salmon it probably should say something like three percent roasted venison and smoked salmon flavor 70 uh let's see 77 percent other stuff so you know they're being honest that's what they would put on the package um all right let's see what else do we have on here um a couple things that are not on the front that should probably be on the front they're saying that it's a feline recipe but what they're not telling you is this is all life stage so what this actually is is it's a kitten food so somewhere on here we need to write kitten food you know marketed for adults but actually kitten food so we're gonna put that on there as well all right um did i forget anything no i think that's everything so i'm going to use my powers of photoshop and i'm going to come up with the perfect honest label for taste of the wild cat all right so the dog here we have the taste of the wild with ancient grains so at least we have that on there um, ancient streams canine recipe with smoked salmon all right so first thing we're going to keep the title um first thing that's jumping out at me is ancient grains that's great there's nothing wrong with ancient grains we prefer that way more than i would prefer if it was grain free but ancient grains is marketing they're trying to pull you in really what ancient grains means is expensive they're taking really really odd grains um, versus you know getting the more readily available ones so they're doing that not for nutritional value but to charge you more so we're going to put with ancient grains but then you know maybe next to it we're going to put like a bunch of dollar signs maybe or like a big burst with like dollar signs that might be fun um, and then we've got you know the obvious thing it's beautiful package and we're gonna keep the package beautiful we're not gonna change the beauty of the package we're still gonna you know still gonna be lovely but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it more realistic so here we don't have actual dogs we've got a pack of wolves so we've got three wolves looking at a stream of salmon jumping and you know our, our domestic dogs aren't doing that even wild dogs aren't doing that um, there are wild dogs so there are some countries that have their you know wild dogs they have them in Australia um, and they have them in countries like Puerto Rico you'll find wild dogs all over the place they don't anything like this um, they are usually um, you know just a regular you know domesticated looking dog um, uh, but they're usually really skinny because they're out in the wild scavenging um, and so we're gonna change these guys if I can to like just a skinny regular dog they're not a wolf um, we're not feeding wolves here we don't need to have wolves on the package uh, you know just because dogs are similar to wolves they're not wolves so that would be like saying we'll feed our uh, children uh, chimpanzee food or orangutan food because um, you know people are really close to primates to primates so we should feed them the same no we shouldn't we need to be feeding appropriately so we're gonna change all these dogs or these wolves to actual dogs um you know the other thing that they're going to be doing is they're probably not going to be living here by the stream catching salmon um they're probably going to be you know in the city so we're going to change the background you know maybe to a city landscape here with some skyscrapers or something like that um, and they're going to be you know like on the streets you know maybe and they're going to be eating they're going to be knocking over you know like some trash cans and things like that um, and they're they're going to be scavenging the, that would be the taste of a wild dog now is that what we want no we want to give our dog nutrition but taste of the wild a wild dog um, is going to be doing that they're going to be scavenging if in their woods they're going to be finding you know roadkill and stuff like that they are not going to be um catching wild salmon I and mean, that's just that's just silly um let's see ancient stream um you know that's probably deceptive um the, you know we just mentioned they're not going to be in a stream at all so we're going to cross that out let's call it um 
I don't know, what should we call it? Let's call it city life, alley life, alley life, the alley life. Canine recipe with smoked salmon. So we already talked about how with means 3%. So we got 3% salmon, 77% other stuff. We already have with ancient grains. Got some dollar signs here. Um, things that they're not telling you. Uh, this is uh, all life stage food and it's an all life stage food. It, it is saying also for large breed puppies. So um, it's not a canine recipe. Let's change that. We're gonna make it red. Um, it is actually a large, large breed puppy. So we probably need to put that on there somewhere if we're gonna be completely honest with the package. We need to put that. Let me see my notes. What else do we have here? Oh yes, the guaranteed analysis. And you can check back at that video on um, the Taste of the Wild that I did the full analysis. But um, this was excessive in calcium and phosphorus. So somewhere on here, maybe here where this lovely seal is, we'll change that and we'll put on here excess calcium and phosphorus caution right we should probably put that on there somewhere all right so let me redo this we're going to redesign it magic of photoshop and we're going to show it to you and see what you think All right, so all joking aside, this was just for fun. Obviously, if you're feeding this food and it's working for you, I want you to keep feeding it. All I want you guys to see is how the marketing companies do try to deceive you. They leave out the important information and they put in information that they know is gonna draw you in. So by leaving out some of the important things like the actual life stage of the pet, um, how much of that ingredient is actually in the food and things like excessive mineral content and grains and things like that that they put in that are more expensive than regular grains using that ancient term, you can see what they're trying to do now we're gonna keep the packaging the same you know as you can see we kept the patch packaging beautiful the packaging was great but we took out those deceptive things so I hope you found this video entertaining and um, you know I didn't want to I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings it's all in fun it's all in jest I hope you guys enjoyed if you did let me know um, I can go back and redesign some more pet food labels in the future if you guys think this was a good one um, but yeah this is what pet food companies would put on their package if they were designing labels to be honest according According to me. All right, guys, we'll hang out again real soon, um, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.